Okay. Hello, everybody. This is Rick Tiron. This is my world, and I'm doing this uh, off the cuff here because I cannot get my. Hey, doggy. Anyway, I cannot get my uh, editor up and running, so this is going to be one long cut, just a single. And for this episode, I'm going to take you guys to the end where I have been using up all my resources doing my new ender farm. So, um, if I can remember how to get there, I haven't been spending much time here. I've been on Derpacraft most of the time, and uh, there's lots of new developments there, which I need to show you guys as well. But first, I want to show you the Ender Farm. Um, it's uh, quite a big undertaking that I've taken in. I've used up all my quartz and junk. Uh, that's not the way. This is the way. Yeah. I used the top of the nether for fast travel, and uh, I don't really... I haven't had the time to put in a rail system yet, but uh, I'm going to. But anyway, uh, I believe this is it. Hopefully. <laughs> yep, this is it. Okay, this right here would be the place. All right. Okay, let's go. All right, now. All right, okay. This took me a mite bit of time to do. And you can see from all the different things that I've put out here that I've spent some major time getting stuff for this. There's a whole desert that is barren <laughs> because of this build and uh, there are a lot of places in the nether that you can't find quartz anymore <laughs> so it took over a chest and a half of quartz uh, probably more than that because I was adding to that as I made trips back and forth for stone each time I came through the nether I would get some and uh, Believe me, there is, oh man, I have put in some time on this. All right, here's my drop tube to go down to Y1. And wee! All right. Yep. Got lots of iron. Many, many trips in getting all this stuff here. And, yep, there's my stone, cobble. This is in preparation for the actual farm. I don't know how much I'm going to need because, um, well, there's, I know I'm going to need more cobble than what I have. Uh, I'm going to need a lot more. But I've just been bringing it here and staging it, and uh, mainly what I've been doing is working on this area right in here all this is pretty much uh, this is kind of the the big build before the build you know <laughs> and you know how I like chests <laughs> and yeah I tore down a couple of pillars up there on the island and uh, Got a lot of obsidian under the floor here. Um, but this, this is pretty much where it's going to be. And this is the prep area for all this. And here's, here's a neat little thing. This thing gives you an anvil that you can uh, basically refill the anvils right here. Um, all of this, these have different amounts of books on them. I haven't experimented with them yet because obviously 
I don't have any Endermen falling right at the moment, but this is going to be the kill zone. Now, underneath each one of these half slabs around the ring is hoppers. And this hopper line goes out here, and underneath each carpet is a hopper. And it goes all the way back here, and all the way around here, and then all the way, snakes all the way back to this chest. And that is where all my ender pearls will be if I want to hold them. And eventually I'll disable this and get rid of the hoppers and fill it in because, well, just. I'll have so many ender pearls it's not even funny but for right now this is what I'm doing um, let's go up top and I will show you guys my beacons and this right here is kinda I'm gonna probably give myself a place to stand for the moment all right, um, that's what I've got so far. That is the drop tower. And that drop tower is, oh my god. <laughs> I didn't do my normal uh, tower thing where I go every two blocks. I went ahead and spent the time and did every block. And when you're doing that, you have to do it a special way otherwise you just can't get up and then that last level is really hard you had to make a an outer ring and it's still up there but uh, yeah that was a bit challenging hopefully this will ah crap fill itself back in oh nuts you didn't tell me that uh, a pain. I have to go over here and get my bucket. Okay. This is such a pain. Oh. There. Luckily, that's infinite. Okay, if you don't fill this stuff in, oh my gosh, Enderman. Internet are the biggest pain when they do things that you just don't want them to do. All right, so, yay, yay me. All right, I haven't got a thing in any of these chests, but I've got plenty of chests up here. Made up a ton of chests, and boy, did that take some time. But I brought the wood out here and I crafted up a whole bunch, whole mess of chests, and uh, it's been real useful so far with making that those parts. But anyway, um, some features is I got some nice glass here with like it's all got obsidian underneath it. I don't want to fall through the floor, and I don't want to break a floor and fall through the floor. So I put some obsidian down there so that uh, that would just not happen and all of this is ready to be tricked out and I'll probably end up putting chests over here and I'll probably put a um, I don't know I'm I'm thinking about doing a couple of automated uh, push-button uh, uh, enchantment areas so I can do my books now you might notice that this is a very long drop area and I think it's 30 blocks 32 blocks something like that it's almost two chunks wide it's huge and it's gonna take me a long time to get this done but well worth it well worth it um, these crafting tables back here each have different this is the full 30 right here and over here, I think this one is like 16, or it's going to be. I, I might have to knock out a couple of, or add a few for that to be 16. This is like 24 or something like that. It may be that I have to put a torch on the wall or something, but 
eventually I'll figure all that out and uh, I've got plenty of chests for my enchanted books and supplies that I'll need for all of this eventually um, I may actually be able to bring some of my villagers out here for these areas so I can trade for armor that I then enchant and that would be really nice but that's my goal and tell me how you like this place cuz I spent a lot of time gathering quartz there is there's like uh, this just just in the half slabs covering this area just just the floor just the floor in this area from here back not the ceiling just the floor I think there's like four and a half stacks of quartz <laughs> at least four and a half stacks of quartz and this ceiling took like I think this ceiling took like four or five just just this checkerboard took like five stacks of quartz um, the blocks out here there must be at least seven stacks of quartz out here I mean it's huge 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 um, I, I went through over a chest and a half of quartz easily and I don't even want to think about it because <laughs> that's not counting the redstone oh man but anyway um, tell me what you think and we'll see you next time all right, bye.